got another bike. Uh, I know what you're probably thinking. Can this guy go one week without spending a thousand plus dollars on a bike? Apparently not. We're gonna unbox this. So this bike is impossible to find. I searched high and low for about a month trying to find this particular bicycle and uh, it just, it wasn't for sale anywhere. I just, across the entire country, I could not find this bike. I expanded my search uh, and I found someone who had it, so I bought it. As you can tell, a little beat up, but it's still brand new in the box. Okay, let me put this down, let's open her up. So this is a SE Bikes Fast Ripper 29er. Uh, I am old, I'm officially old so it's time to settle down and uh i feel like every uh, cyclist once they get uh past that threshold they buy an se and put some big handlebars and bring the seat all the way up and um that's how you ride off into the sunset you know and that's uh that's that's where we're headed kind of joking but i'm actually very excited to put this bike together so like i said these are impossible to find go ahead and google it yourself right now fast ripper 29 black sparkle you can find them in a bunch of other uh, very goofy colorways which i was not a big fan of but for this one, it looks very nice, and I'm gonna show you how it looks once I build it. You can't find it, you, you can't buy it. If you can, send it to me, I, I'll buy another one because I, I could not find a spike for the life of me. I found one person who had one brand new in the box. And if you see this video somehow, thank you again for selling me this for not a penny over MSRP. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get working. One of the things that stuck out to me about this bike is that it has a group set. It has gears, it has multiple gears. It has a SRAM GX group set, which is, uh, it's like the cheapest one they make. Record, it is not very uh, high quality, but you can shift it. Huh, these do look good. Hey, I'm a sucker for chrome, so it gets my vote. Big thumbs up. Fast Ripper. So this is a black speckle paint job with gold accents. This bike came in a, like a couple of different other colors, but the other colorways were so bad that I just didn't even consider them. They're like white, blue, and red, like very just, I don't know. This one is classy, and it's by far the best colorway that this Fast Ripper comes in, which is why it was impossible to find forever. I think it's still sold out. It's probably going to stay sold out for a while, but we got it. Here's our seat. Look at that seat post length. Jeez. That's, uh, yeah, that's plenty of... Uh, Wow, very comfy looking seat too. Oops. I always get a little scared of the last uh, few pumps at the end of the PSI range. All done? I gotta say, this is a pretty good looking bike, huh? Definitely a big fan of the gold accents, spokes, hubs, uh, seat clamp. Let's give it a ride. Alrighty, we have made it to downtown LA on the Fast Ripper. I'm so excited to ride this bike. Again, this is actually the second time we've taken it out. So the first time I rode it was actually yesterday that we went to a ride out. I filmed a little bit on my phone, I'll put it in right here. Yup, oh, we're out of here, we got the bike out. We got Dana Man out here on Hollywood Boulevard. Look what else we got. Some low lows. Trying not to hit anybody. Doing a pretty good job so far. Ooh, look at that. A lot of flavor out here. We got Danny Man. And I'm mobbing. I'm out here. Let's see what goes down, folks. <laughs> it's freezing. It's a nice night, though. But uh, today, we're going to give it a spin in downtown LA. Beautiful. Uh, you know, stuff going on right here. Got the e-scoots. Let's go. 
<laughs> uh, let's go. Once again, just look at how beautiful this bike is, man. I'm stoked to just get out and just pedal it around right now. We're gonna bomb the hill immediately, right now. We're going down that way, we're gonna bomb it. And I'm just gonna be getting comfortable with this bike. I wanna see what its capabilities are. I kinda got a feel for it when we took it out for a spin, but uh, you know, downtown LA, evening. We might meet up with some homies, see what happens. Put the gloves on. It is chilly out here in downtown tonight. It's about 60 degrees. Not that cold, cold enough. Oh. So. This bike has gears and it has these thick, slick tires on. It actually bunny hops very well. It bunny hops kind of like a, like a BMX bike. I guess that's why it's a big BMX. And it has front brakes, which is hilarious. Let's see if I still know how to wheelie. Oh my God. Oh, we kind of got it. Oh, I still know how to wheelie. Oh, let's go. Wait a second, we might have some fun tonight. Bike's feeling good, everything's dialed. We're gonna bomb this hill. Hopefully this camera angle's good. Let's go and get things started. Let's go ahead and gear up. Got people honking, we got people walking. Let's get into our max gear. So this thing has gears, which is, it's a big part of the appeal for me. It's like riding a road bike. For anyone who doesn't understand why gears are helpful on a bike like this, it's because when you're going uphill, you can gear down and it spins easier so it's easier to climb hills and then when you're going on flat you can go faster because you can put yourself in a gear where there's more resistance and you can pedal harder and hit a higher top speed so our gear is necessary on a bike like this no nah, not really you know it's nice to have but you don't need them there's no suspension or any of those uh things that make a bike comfortable but Okay. Already cooking with some speed. Let's see if we can bunny hop upstairs. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay. It definitely feels like a BMX. I can bunny hop it, which is nice. Oh, it's coming in hot right there. Uh, we have a destination right now. I'm trying to take the most illuminated way because some of these downtown streets are dark at this time. Oh my God, I almost ate right there. No lie. I tried to bunny hop it too much like uh, the dirt jumper. It almost bucked me. <laughs> almost, almost front end case the curb, which would have been very bad to say the least. But uh, we made it out a lot. I don't know if you can tell there's a car accident here earlier. It looks like there's tempered glass in the middle of the street. It's been so long. Some of you guys remember, I used to have a, a beast mode and I got hit by a car on that bike. Uh, I didn't film it, so I never even talked about it, but this is back when I lived in downtown LA. Some of you guys remember that's around the end of when I lived out here too. You, uh, Domino's delivery dude, shredding. Yeah, I got hit. I ended up giving that bike away. Some, I gave it to a, a friend of mine and I just never was really interested in the big BMX thing. But then I saw this with gears. I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. This bike's fun. This bike is crazy fun. I think the main goal is tonight, maybe I'll pop a, a couple 180s. It's not the same as like the dirt jumper. That maneuverability is just crazy with suspension and uh, the smaller wheelbase. That feels more like a bigger BMX than this, which is actually a big BMX. So I don't know, it's like a weird in between. I wanna get wheelies good. You know, that'd be fun to just wheelie around the streets. I mainly have this thing, it's like a, uh, just a cruiser bike. None of the people I ride with, I have something that fits in with them. The BMX is like, it's hard to keep up. My road bike, I'm too fast on it. Mountain bike is electric, so it's kind of cheating. Suron just doesn't make sense. So that's where this kind of, that's why I got it. Let's keep going out here in the streets. I feel like I need a light riding out here at this time, going this fast. All right, let's get a little bit of traffic splitting. This bike mobs so well, it's fast. One thing that I do like is since it is a, or since there's no suspension, it's fully rigid. You don't lose any of your power that you put down to the bike. It's fast, it's actually very fast. It earns its name, the Fast Ripper. You know, these are all rigid bikes, but this one, given that it's got the SRAM group set, actually, you know, it's nice. It's nice being able to cook at full speed. 
We got a bus coming in hot. We will not be doing any swerving. I don't, I don't believe in that stuff. We will avoid that bus though. Huh? That was not fun. <laughs> Looks like there's something going on over here tonight. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> something's going on. Those guys are turned up. Fully activated. Watch out, guys. Must be a semi big deal. There's a lot of cops out here. I smell uh, all types of things. Thank you. LA Clippers. Must be a Clippers game? I don't know. I don't see anyone in team jerseys. Oh, I guess we gotta go down some stairs, huh? That's mandatory on every bike. Oh, that did not feel good on a full rigid. <laughs> it's funny that all my bikes have suspension now, so I'm so used to feeling comfortable. Well, we got through that little bit of uh, madness in one piece. This bike's fun. Oh, I feel like I say that about every bike now, but it's because I've refined my taste and now I know exactly what I'm looking for when I buy a bike. All right, we left downtown. We are in a parking lot uh, in the valley on the way home. I actually just got kicked out by the security guard over here. It's gonna be cordial. He said you have 10 minutes. So we're gonna try and get one good wheelie and uh, that's it. Let's see if we can get one. It's been so long since I've done a nice locked in wheelie. Oh, there's the pop right there. Dang, this is harder than I remember it being. <laughs> I used to be semi-decent. I'm getting locked into power wheelies. Okay, a little sloppy, but we're off. There we go. That's the speed. Okay, we're figuring it out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we're at this very cool mall in uh, North Hollywood. Right off the freeway, I take home. It's a nice little workout. I'm trying to do wheelies on this bike. We're gonna be real sneaky. We're gonna go downstairs, do a hot lap, come back up, try and get one good wheelie because I didn't really get one solid one. And then we're gonna go. He's being nice, so I don't wanna overstay my welcome. And this is a really nice mall. He said he saw me on a hidden camera. I, I looked everywhere, I did not see a camera in there, so I'm inclined to think that he's telling the truth. Oh, I think I went too far. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, so we're gonna do a hot lap, just check out the scenery and uh, come back up. This hand hit. Oh, let's just ride down from there. It's a hill bomb we can do if we go over here, which might be fun. We have to like wrap around. There's a hill, there's two hill bombs we could do. This one's kind of sketchy. So we're gonna go do the other one. This thing climbs hills with such ease with the gears, it's amazing. Work. All right, we are at NoHo Mall. Wondering that squeak, that was my shoes, my bad. <laughs> so the one problem with this bike, I can't really do much like trickery on it. More just like to get around in style. Christmas tree, very cool. I think we can bunny hop on this. Whoa, that was pretty big. Dude, I wonder if we can 180 off of that. I don't want to overstay our welcome, but it's also so hard to say no. All right, this is either gonna go good or bad. There's really no in between. That went perfect. And yeah, good as it's gonna get, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you wanna see uh, my behind the scenes of filming while it's happening live at John Hicks. We are out of here. All right, let's go get our wheelie and make moves back to the desert. Oh, there's the, there's the balance point. There we go. Okay, okay. I think they got the picture. They saw us talking. They were like, I think we should go. 
I'm gonna get out of here, man. Hey, okay. thanks. Okay. Thanks for being understanding, brother. No problem. Yeah. Cool. All right, we got one. We got one good wheelie in, folks. Let me know if you guys want to see some more content on this bike. Shout out to that security guard, very understanding. Let me get my one good wheelie. I've been up here practicing for like five minutes. Uh, I really just want to show you guys this bike. I don't know how much I'll be filming on it. In the future, I have it. It's gonna be fun to have, so I want to do a video on it just to show uh, that I got one. They're still really hard to find. Fast Ripper. That's it. If you guys want to see more content on it, let me know. Give me ideas, you know? Stuff like that. That's it. I gotta get home. It's 9.30 p.m. Past my bedtime. Thanks for watching, folks. See you in the next one. Peace.